First, define the desired goal or result clearly in discussion with the person who will have the responsibility of achieving it. Take the time to agree exactly on what is to be accomplished. Second, discuss and agree on the plan of implementation. What steps will be taken to accomplish the goal? How is it to be done? How will you measure success? What standards of performance will you use? How will you know that the job has been done well? And especially, what will be the consequences for doing or not doing the job in an effective and timely way? Third, agree on a time of completion and set a schedule to review progress and problems. When is the job expected to be finished? The setting of clear deadlines and schedules is a vital part of management by objectives. Fourth, leave the person alone to do the job. Once you've assigned a clearly defined job with output responsibilities and standards of performance to a competent person, leave the person alone to do the job in his own way. The key to delegation is to delegate the task completely and refuse to take it back. Do not interfere. Give whatever advice, guidance and support is necessary for the person to do the job, but make it clear that the job is the responsibility of that person. One of the most powerful ways to build competence, confidence and ability in other people is to assign complete responsibility to them for the achievement of an important task. When people know that they are completely responsible, it gives them a greater sense of personal power and control. It builds initiative and resolve. It develops persistence and determination. It is one of the most powerful of all people-building tools available to parents or managers. And it's a great time saver. Achieving your goals faster. There are four important thinking tools that you can apply to the achievement of any goal. The application and use of these tools greatly improves your competence and ability to accomplish the goals that you have set for yourself and for your business. Number one, remove the obstacles. Identify the obstacles that stand between you and your goal. What is holding you back from achieving your goal? Why haven't you achieved it already? Write down every single obstacle or difficulty that you think is limiting your ability to achieve the goal that you have defined. These may include internal obstacles or obstacles within yourself. They may be external obstacles or obstacles that are created by circumstances or the situation in the world around you. Once you've determined the obstacles that are holding you back, identify and determine your single largest obstacle. What is the major obstacle that is standing in the way of your completing this task? Resolve to go to work on this one obstacle and concentrate single-mindedly on it until it is removed. Peter Drucker said, In every complex problem, there is usually a single large problem that must be solved before any other problems can be solved. Your job is to identify the biggest single problem or difficulty that is holding you back and then focus on solving that before you get sidetracked by smaller problems and difficulties. Number two, way to achieve your goals faster in business and in your career, identify your limiting step. In the accomplishment of almost any goal, whether it's increasing your income, doubling your sales or even losing weight, or the completion of any job, there is usually one step that determines how fast you can get from where you are to where you want to go. This is the bottleneck or choke point in the process. Your ability to identify and remove this bottleneck is one of the most important techniques for efficiency and effectiveness that can move you toward the achievement of your goal faster than any other action. The 80-20 rule applies to this principle of constraints or limiting factors in a special way. In this case, the 80-20 rule says that 80% of the reasons that you are not achieving your goal are contained within yourself or your company. Only 20% of the constraints on your ability to accomplish what you want are contained in external circumstances or the environment around you. The starting point of personal effectiveness is for you, first of all, to define your goal and second, to ask yourself, what is it in me that is holding me back? When you look into yourself, you'll almost always find that it is the lack of a particular skill, quality or behavior that is your main constraint on achieving a particular goal or result. This is the what that you need to work on before you do something else. Number three, determine the knowledge and skills you will require. 
Identify the additional knowledge or skills that you require to achieve your goal. What else do you need to learn? What else do you need to know? What is the most important additional knowledge, skill, or experience that you require in order to achieve the goal that you've set for yourself? As professional speaker Les Brown has said, in order to achieve something that you have never achieved before, you must become someone that you've never been before. To accomplish bigger and better goals, you will have to develop new skills and acquire new knowledge. You cannot achieve more than you're achieving today without developing yourself to a higher level. 